Hello, hello. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again, everyone. Yeah, we're still looking at the Microsoft. Yeah, right now we're going to do the PowerPoint presentation. Basically, we're going to talk all about the common features. The basic common features that PowerPoint has. And it which has simplified our working on the presentation. Yeah. There are several ways of getting to the PowerPoint. Right, right click on the screen, come to new, and then you come to the PowerPoint presentation, or you can name it the way you want, or you can just click with the windows, and you can you can you can search for PowerPoint, and you get if we have a PowerPoint here, you can also click on, and it opens straight away from there yeah so our powerpoint now from here we have several templates which have been customized in different ways you choose the one suiting your interest there's a blank presentation there's welcome to powerpoint there's bring your presentation to life magician format the atlas gallery the iron bathroom the wood type, the partials, which you can also select from the other side where you can do the working on it easily. Now, for us, we're going to choose on the blank. Yeah, choosing on the blank. It's better we use this. Yeah going to use a blank one here yeah, it's just blank as you can see it's nothing we're going to start everything afresh right now they have given the first slide which is the first we always get and you say click to add node so this is the master slide you can edit it like and now we're going to talk about if in case you are going to talk about domestic violence yeah type here domestic violence sorry violence maybe in 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 uganda yeah then in a subtitle you can be here can be the presentation name whereby write your name okay sorry sorry you can put it presented by Timano yeah. student at University, yeah, something like that. Can can break it like this to make it something better. So this is how it looks like. Yeah, and we have different, different, different variety like the layers of the slides. Like the first one it was the master slides, and then we have a title slide, we have a title and a content slide, and we have a type the section header, we have two content slides where we're going to talk about two things concurrently, then we have the comparison slides, the title slides, the blank slides where we can add anything, they hope it's a box, can add a paragraph, icon, the pictures. All those things, the graph, the chart, anything, the play things, everything can be added on the blank, blank slide. It's non segregative, anything can enter in. Yeah. And we have a uh, content with caption slide, and then we have a picture with caption slides also as well. Yeah. There's some basic in the home. 
then the section on the top of the section you can add the section rename it remove section remove all collapse all or you expand all the section then we have this you can change your font style see your font style the size the size you can bold it and make it slanting underline anything you want to anything anything any color any word you can put yeah you can erase it all the clear all formatting remove all the formatting from the section leaving only the normal and formatted text which we had first added to read yeah you can go to the next thing that is the insert where I, you can insert a new slide yeah new slide the ones we have talk of any of them you can insert you can duplicate select a slide slice from online reuse as a slide you can use the same slide you can insert a table yeah? insert a table pictures online pictures screenshots from a photo album different shapes different icons the 3d models the smart art the charts to bring the visual understanding of complex features like when you talk of domestic violence like comparison in terms of figures it may look complicated but when you bring it into graphs the chart the pie charts it's really becomes simplified to the audience and be able to understand whatever the standard level of the audience can be able to understand even people from the grassroots down into villages can be able to pick your presentation so easily with the visualizations as what we have in the insert we can insert the hyperlink this create a link in your document for quick access to web pages and files hyperlink can also take you to places in your documents or into different slides yeah that's what you can easily do then we have a comment you can add a note a small note about the particular part you're talking about in the document it can help remind you when giving out a presentation to your audience yeah and then we have uh, the header and the footer content of the repeats at the top and the bottom of each printed pages this is useful for showcasing information such as the file name the date the time the venue the audience the targeting so it reminds you up easily and when you talk of equations there are different equations the area of the circle binomial theorem the expansion of a sham the foreign series the Pythagoras theory several of them it's basically maybe the maths presentation in the maths class the physics class where you can use all this yeah applicable in those areas of the as all this work real made is that we have different symbols which you can be able to so out to the audience by just tapping on and you insert it on just that then videos the online videos or the videos in the pc you can be able to load them as well on your presentation to make understanding easy like providing out evidence in presentations when it's a class presentation by students by a lecturer or by somebody else it really makes understanding easy since everything is simplified the nice and this audio one can be able to record audio which will help him or her during presentation but which will not be heard by the audience and have a screen recording of your working which you can save it for future references mm. and we have designs designs are being the term that's a big customized in different colors different designs you select any which suits you which suits you yeah. we have a variety of them it's all here yeah as you can see and choose the one to two best then there's a transition this transition and both none 
this one this is where my slide doesn't have a transition effect and when you come to the morphis yeah move things on the previous slides into the new locations on the current slides to get the best results you have to duplicate the slide move things around apply the morphy transition anything you add or delete will fade in or fade out yeah then we have a fade in trust you can see the previous slide fades away revealing the current one yeah then there's a push the previous slide pushes the current slides into view as you can see it's been pushed upwards to view and then we have a wipe the previous slide disappear quickly as the current slides rolls it's over yeah then there's a split the previous slide divides at the center and disappears revealing the revealing the current slide and the reveal yeah then the cut we have the random bars where appears in the bar forms it's coming in all those the shape the effects yeah yeah and this shape it's like an oval thing so we wrap and then the, we have effect options change to a variation of the selected transition variations let you change properties of transition effects such as the direction left right upwards or downwards then we can put on sound if you like a sound on this upload sound there are very many sounds here which you can put and then the duration for how long it will take you can change it any one and you can apply it to all the slide then confirm it then when we come to an emination we also have very many there's a none and then there's a text appears or object appears the one which fits into the view then the one which flies in from a specific direction the one which floats in from specific directions and becomes visible then the splitting the object becomes a whole as its half unites from a specific direction as you can see yeah yes then the wife then we have the shape takes objects from different ages of specific shapes appear and then we also have effect options again whether from the bottom upwards from left to right from right to left and then from top downwards as one object and there's a sequence one object then you can add a nation the trigger the click it on or it's off or the title one or subtitle two if the duration the click on where to start it the duration of how long how should the delay be when you are doing it yeah then the slideshow where it should start from the beginning or you start it from the current slide yeah jump from the right into the show at the slide simply just control f5 to do that then there's online presentation and then there's custom slideshow so only the slides you choose this is a great way to shorten your presentation or tailor it for different audience just pick the slides you want to use add them to the new so change the slides order if necessary and you are done works becomes easily easily done and so a slide up advanced option to slide so then there's the high slide Rehearsal timing practice makes perfect. Start the full screen slideshow to figure out the perfect timing of each for each slide. As you rehearsal your presentation, PowerPoint will record how much time you spend on each slide. Once you get the timing right, you can use the time to run the show automatically. Then you can record it up. The play narration, the use timing, which I've talked about. In the review, then you have to bring out a presentation out on your watch. Let us check your spelling. That is what PowerPoint is telling us. 
come to the spelling errors we check whether the spelling is okay you can go on for presentation where everything is well 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 worked out and check the accessibility the same keep it inclusive let us make sure that your file follows accessibility best practices will help you fix issues quickly with easy to follow directions or recommendations as what powerpoint presentation is telling us here you can translate languages various languages we have talked about adding comment previously add a note about the part of the document which will remind you when you are doing the presentation that's all we have so the main basic 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 common features we have to know for using powerpoint and we have a normal view the outline view and then the slides sorter where you can sort the slide but right now we have a slide only then the note slide you can click to add that note the reading view this is how it will appear the reading view yeah and the note master this is how it will appear the second level the third level the fourth and with the footers as we have seen the team of children is this one and it's still on and you see from here we can close it yeah that's all we have and we can get back to home this is a new slide we have created as you can see now from here this is where we can add a note a small note you can type the title and you add a small note you can tap yeah, when you add a comment which will help you during the presentation yeah this is the view you can use during the presentation you have a more than two slides you just tap on to bring on the next and we tap just to bring on the next that way yeah those are the most common common features we have in the powerpoint presentation can I zoom in what or well, out what so is the powerpoint is make working for us and you can save your work after finishing all thank you for now for watching if you are not subscribed remember to subscribe hit the notification bell get notified whenever a video is loaded like comment as well share with friends relatives thanks for now